Christopher Michael Fox, but I usually go by Chris Fox. And um, whereabouts am I right now? I am in uh, beautiful Auckland, New Zealand. Wouldn't want to be any place else at the moment either. 2008 was probably, I would say, one of my best years in racing. I had just won my first, I, you can call it, yeah, I mean, my first pro title in Super X. Shortly thereafter, I just, the best way I could describe it was just feeling a little bit restricted. I felt very repetitive in my daily routine and felt a little bit robotic. Got a little bit too serious for me in that aspect and like, you know, molded over a little bit with my mom and, you know, talked to her about it. And, she was always really supportive, but um, I just remember saying, I'm, I mean, I remember saying, like, yeah, it's just, I don't think this is for me anymore, which is weird, because that's, like, that's all I knew up until that point, you know? Well, my roommate worked for uh, Demolition for a little while, so my roommate kind of, like, chimed in, I think. Brian had been, I guess, noticing me a little bit at that, because after I got picked up by SC, then I actually started filming, and I, I, filmed, I filmed an edit where I, like, I jumped over this, fence at the skate park and it was like I like way over jumped it and I was like way in my bars and landed super sketchy and like I still get comments on that clip. At that point I had started filming for SE and like I had that clip that I feel like was kind of like stuck in some memories in that point. So whenever my roommate brought my name up to Brian, Brian kind of like had started hearing about me and um, invited me over to the demolition warehouse and gave me a couple parts to run and I rode the warehouse ramp for them and it ended up working out for me. Yeah, it seemed like after I did a couple trips for him and filmed a couple things for him and like, he seemed like that's whenever he started approaching me for a stim. That was first, so I had that, I still had my signature stylus stim. Brian hit me up about, you know, like a casted dropout for a fork, which was like really interesting to me because I wasn't really like knowledgeable in that. I, 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 honestly, before he even hit me up about it, I didn't even really know too much of like what it was. Um, and then after he kind of like enlightened me on what it was, I was really curious about it. And the fact that I was able to like design the exact way it looked instead of like having like, you know, like the welds traditional fork style of cast it in a way that you could actually like create what the job out looked like. And that was like the really cool part of that. It was like sitting around with Brian Castillo and like both of us like going over like, you know, like, you know, like what this looks like and it's kind of like, oh yeah, it looks good, but I would like to have this back piece a little more rounded out. This looks like it's too long and we were able to like shave this off and round it out and make it look all smooth and flow together and we're able to put like Know, machine the demolition logo like into the fork leg and all that which that kind of stuff was like really fun to to tinker around with I, I actually am really really excited with the way they turned out the way they look so so I really don't have any sort of desire to learn anything uh, trick wise which which isn't talking bad about tricks at all this is just who I am you know like I don't I love watching my friends rip and learn new tricks and progress themselves but I feel like I can like progress myself in certain ways through like bike fundamentals like moving my bike around in a certain way airing a quarter as high as you can but still landing on coping and like you're coming down with a lot of speed and then carrying it into the next quarter and airing that quarter high and landing and then like instantly into a bowl corner instantly into a lip slide instantly into a hip you know and like you could hold that line together whether you sprinkle some tricks in there or not, like, man, if you're full tilt and you're like pulling back on all the quarters and really boosting and then landing high and like still carrying your momentum the entire run, like, that's where I'm at with BMX, you know? It's like, I love to like sit back and appreciate instead of compare. Because I feel like art can't be compared. All art is the same. All art is creativity from one person. There's no right or wrong with the way you got a bike. So I think like, I love to appreciate more than compare, because you can't compare that.